camper van food storage. There's all kinds of reasons you need to have food stored. This is my overflow bin. And there's things in here that I don't use all the time. What I mainly use for my food is bins here that I have a lot of food that I use, like tuna fish, and I've got cans of food that I would want to use on a regular basis that I would want. Um, my coffee drawer, um, cheese, things like that are in here. But this is my overflow. And I thought that I would go ahead and just bring this out and show it to you what actually I'm storing. There could be a disaster, a shit hit the fan kind of situation. You want to have extra food. Now I'm going to show you, I can't show you every little thing, but I will show you what I have, main the, my main foods, and then we're going to show what Paul has too. Hi everybody. Yeah. He's my, uh, he's my gorgeous assistant right there, so. <laughs> now, I had to move this out. I pulled, I pulled everything off of here. This, in order to get, I had to pull it out so I can get the lid off of it. Okay, put this over here. Alrighty, it's kind of food, you can see. Not quite all the way, but I've got some crackers. One of them's missing. It's not that big a deal having crackers. I don't use them very often, but if I want soup, it's nice to have crackers. If I don't use this within the next couple months, I'll probably dump it. I've got some elbow macaroni I can make with my um, rice cooker. I can boil these and we can make a meal. We bought these in Reno. We were gonna start making meals and it's that elbow macaroni. Yeah, I do like macaroni salad. I do too. Me too. These are getting a little old and I probably need to use them. Packets of rice. This is enough for the both of us. So when we do this, we need to make an actual meal, right? Mm -hmm. This I bought yesterday. Oh, by the way, by the by, um, I can't find small cans of chicken in any of the Walmarts. That was almost in Flagstaff. That was here. We've tried Walmart after Walmart here in Tucson and we can't find the small cans. So I wanted to make sure that I do have some protein. This was like three ninety eight. It's a pound of cooked ham. Enough for both of us, right? I know, exactly. Now I love my pickles. Mm. More pickles, don't want to run out on pickles. Corned beef. Ah, this is some loose leaf tea. Flour. I just, I took it out of the, you know how flour, sometimes the packaging in flour, it like poofs out. I put it in plastic. You never know, you can make dumplings out of this for soup, potato flakes. And of course, I like to keep these handy. These are the creamers that I use. I do like, I only like, I never really got used to black coffee, so I always use creamer. I do, I use a lot of these. There's only 24 in here. And if I use two, that means in six days. And that's only one cup of coffee a day, so. I'd like to keep, this isn't open, I like to keep some salsa. We do like salsa. And sometimes then we don't use it again and it stays in his um, ice chest and then it goes bad. So then we have to like, don't, you know, I'd like, this is a good price, but it'd be good to have actually little packets if they would sell those packets again of just little packets of salsa. Mm -hmm. You flip it open, it's paper, you flip it and then you eat it. Rice, ramen, we have a, quite a few of these stored away. You, you're you carrying larger. I've got a case. He has a case of these for emergency. I know they're not. Um, that healthy, we understand that, but they're lightweight and they are filling if the, if the shit hits the fan. Now there's things in here that I know that you say, oh, those are unhealthy. Well, I'm showing you what I have because I know if we went to your house and we opened up your cupboard, woo, we would find things too. So do not judge me, okay? I got some coffee beans and I bought the Starbucks pumpkin spice, which I do not like at all. It has a weird flavor, but I don't want to throw it away. It was expensive. I 
raisins. These have never been opened. I think these last almost a lifetime. Let me see, maybe not. Um, I think this says February 8th, 20. So almost three years ago. I don't know, do raisins go bad? Uh, we'll find out. Good question. Mashed potatoes. We got these when we went to the food bank that one time, got some uh, potato flakes. And I think I have two of these. These are nice to have. These are non-fat dry milk. They come around expensive in the grocery store too. These are my long-term stuff. I have some rice. More rice. Lentils. And premium split green peas. I do love green pea soup, but it takes a lot of energy to cook this. Like if I had like a big pot, if I was out boondocking or I was out on survival and I had a big pot with water over a fire, this would be great. But think of all to actually cook some of these things. It takes a lot of energy to actually cook these. So I don't know. <laughs> they gave us in the food box, they gave us some macaroni and cheese. Yeah. I probably am not going to keep these too much longer. This was for scalloped potatoes. I didn't like the box, so I just took them out and put them in a baggie. More raisins. Here's some stovetop stuffing I want to make uh, for Thanksgiving um, to show you how to make a really cool for Thanksgiving if you're out boondocking using stovetop a box. Velveeta cheese. Mm. I know I've got quite a few. I still have quite a few of these even in there. We got these to go with some broccoli. Yeah. It's good stuff too. Probably not your healthiest, but this whole area from here over has butane. And I have a couple of propane in here, but the rest of these are cans. So what do you think? Do you think this is very much food? When you look at it, it's really not that much. Some luncheon meat, I know that's really bad stuff, but in a pinch, you know, this would be really be good with if you made some rice mm -hmm. and then uh, chop some of this up and put it in with the rice for Absolutely. a meal. If you were in survival or um, I know we've watched, it's called Out of the Wild. And they went to one of the cabins. They were trying to get out of Alaska. It's a reality show, Out of the Wild. Do you guys remember that? It was on Discovery and they found some spam and they made, I think there was some rice there too. And they were, they were like, oh my God, this is so good <laughs> because they were so hungry. If you're really hungry and this is cheap. I did buy two of these because I can't find the small can, but this is too large for me to eat all at once. And I don't have a nice box. So maybe I'll make a meal for Paul and I at some point. Or if I'm really famished, just eat it all. Apple cider vinegar. This we got at the, remember the chicken dipping? You said this was really good. I bet it is. Well, I think you did have it. Yeah. You said it was. Yeah. I liked it. Olive oil. And then just some edge. I'm gonna, beans, pinto beans. Pork and beans. <laughs> Sliced carrots, I do like these. And the price of these are going up, folks. And they don't seem to have the Pop Top anymore. The Walmart brand. Chicken noodle soup. Tomato sauce. Sweet peas. Sliced beets. Refried beans. Green chilies, cut beans, 
Lima beans. I'm still carrying this lima bean thing around. I wonder when the... <laughs> Nope, uh, 3.23, so I got to eat these. Right. I know, I know. You can go over the date. I know a lot of you are going to tell me that. You can go over the date. I think I am going to on them raisins. Chili. Pinto beans. Pinto beans. More chili. Pork and beans. You know... Pinto I, beans. I know those are good for protein, Lee, but there's going to be a whole lot of tooting going on. That's right. <laughs> roast beef. Roast beef. These I like to keep some tang, and I was looking for this. And I'll probably get another one to put in here. This really, if you, maybe you don't like the flavor of the water that you're drinking, and you bought water, this will help kind of take the taste away. And it was good enough for the astronauts, after all. That's right. And this goes with... I know. You don't want to lose it, right? I'll let you do that. Thank you. I do carry a couple. I only have... I bought these like a year and a half ago. I've got still got two left. If I do drink ever, it's Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah. Quinoa. And peanut butter. Well, this is what I have in my overflow. Um, let's see what we got here. I'm surrounded by food. Yeah. But this is what I carry. This is my extra stuff. And Lee, I, you know, we think we don't have a lot of food here. Yeah. But if we're being careful and rationing okay. a little bit. Right. This, this can last a long time. I think. Now, here's another thing, too, is we've talked about this because we're going to go see what Paul has. We're going to go check out his. He doesn't have as much as I do, but we're going to look. Now, I did mention I do have food in here. I just, because I can't find the chicken, I bought a bunch of tuna. They were still a decent price. They were a dollar. Now they're a dollar sixteen. But it looks like another brand went up to a dollar forty-four. Food prices are going to go up coming up because there's going to be a little bit of a shortage. I don't know how much, but I do know for fact that prices are going to go up because they had to destroy a lot of chickens, a lot of the uh, cows. They destroyed a whole bunch of eggs. They, there's been a lot of farmland that was not planted because they couldn't get the fertilizer because it was manufactured in Russia or the Ukraine. They couldn't get it here. There was a lot, they say reported a lot of fields that did not get planted. They are expecting a food shortage coming up. So I don't know if there's going to be enough, but we talked about if there was an emergency, our main thing is going to be water. If I don't have water, I can't eat food. You need water to digest food. If you ate food without enough water, you would become very, very ill. And that doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> no. Um, so these are, here. there's an example. These are great to have because there's water in there too. You are carrying around more weight, but there's water in here and we can drink this water and eat it. Right. So these are the things that we kind of want to beet juice. Boy, wouldn't that be good for you? Drink the tomato sauce. I mean... And the green beans. Yeah, I was look, that's what I was looking for, the green beans, yeah. Well, I will go ahead and I'll put these away. And in the meantime, we're going to go see what Paul has. First of all, let's start with my igloo cooler. And if I could get my lovely assistant to get out of my way. Abby, come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> she wants to be in the show, huh? She does. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I just... Obviously, any refrigerated things. We love our cheese. Do you mind? Not at all. Oh, yeah. And we've got lots of condiments, things that have that are open, obviously. We put right in here. Things like, uh, you know, things that are very important, like uh, uh, okra pickles, if you will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, other things like that. Was this good? A few soft drinks. Did you like that? Oh, I love French oh, onion dip. Yeah. I wonder if this butter is still good. I don't know why not. We had this a long time ago. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Looks good. It does. Sorry, I didn't need to mess your thing up. Little, uh, morning breakfast consisting of raisin bran crunch covered with blueberries and then uh, the are uh, you out of blueberries uh i am uh-oh yep okay ate, ate the yes, last of them yesterday so this is stuff that you eat on an everyday basis well, sort of like much. what i have in my bins in the back right my colorful bins right. okay well let's see what you've got stored all right well, this drawer, this is very heavy, obviously, and I use it as kind of an anchor for this set of uh, drawers. And in here, I've just got the kind of miscellaneous things that Lee does. Uh, you know, the uh, refried beans. What is this? The uh, green chilies. Those are for burritos. And I have an extra salt. I never want to run out of salt. Sliced ripe olives. And look what I have, Lee. Yeah, I know. I could probably sell those to you for a pretty good uh, profit, right? Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. You be a good girl, and we'll see if you can get some of those. <laughs> but here, here's some peas with some more water in there, of course. Rice. Non-fat dry milk again. Now you did mention you've got two boxes in the back of your van right. stored that has stuff for more for hold on. Off we go into <laughs> the wild blue yonder. There they go. Davis Month and Air Force Base. Yeah. I basically have just one of those with food in it. A box? Right. Right. A bin. Yeah. Oh, is it a bin? I thought it was in a box. But no, you put I, them in a bin now. I transferred that to a bin. Oh, okay. Is yep. the bin full or is there room for oh, more food no. in there? It, it's uh, a third full, maybe. So we. So a lot of these things could go in there. They could. Because these are more for, uh, you know, survival. Right. 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 What's... Yeah. Cheese sauce. I love my cheese sauce. Yeah. No one should have broccoli without cheese sauce. And then I have three packs of spaghetti down here that we got for, through the uh, uh, the food uh, pantry. What's in that looks like soup? What is that? You got your hand on it. What? Oh, this? Yeah, what is that? Oh, very nice. I didn't know there was such a thing, and that came from the food pantry also. So, why not hang on to it and use it for a rainy day? Oh, for survival, yes. Yeah. And this is something that I'm going to start eating. Yes. This is, sauerkraut is great for your gut. What else have we got here? Minestrone soup. You like minestrone? Sure. Uh, what is that? Well, potted is, meat. What is potted meat? It means it's got everything in it. Everything. You're right? talking brains. You're talking. <laughs> yeah. A little bit oh, of Oh, yeah, pork, pork and beans. beans. A couple of them. No, that's um, corned beef hash. Yep. And, yeah. Yep, corned beef hash. Uh, chili with beans. This is my favorite chili, though. Wolf brand with beans, of course. Mm -hmm. I love that stuff. Sliced potatoes. Yes. How many of those chicken would you like, Lee? None. I'll, I'll get mine. So you got green beans. Green beans. Oh, bean, bean with, bacon. with bacon. I love soup. that. More They're... wolf brand chili. Now, what do you do with the chili? Do you just eat it? Without heating? Yeah. No, I heat it up in the No, microwave. I mean, no, you just eat it. You don't put it on hot dogs or anything. You just eat it. I Sometimes I use it with nachos. Now, that can looks really old. It's very old looking. What's well, I the... can't read that without my glasses. Can Let's you? Let's see. Some diced tomatoes here. Oh, February 23rd. It's just that it looked so um, well, it's been in this, faded. Okay. Yeah, it's moving around a little bit. Okay. Here. More bean with bacon. More bean with... I like bean with bacon, so... <laughs> <you talk. laughs> 
Red uh, beans and rice. Ooh, ooh in a can, no good doubt. Stuff. Spaghetti sauce. Ooh. Where are we at there? I've got lots of chili. I'm in good shape on chili. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, what are we? No, yeah, more, more chili. Well, if I want chili, I know where I'm going. Oh, yeah, more chili. More chili there. And, then, and oh, artichoke hearts. I love artichoke hearts. Yeah. So yeah. that's about it. And but this is it I, for your food. I'm sorry? This is it for your food? I There's see food. a little bit in the bottom drawer back and here, it's but just, not okay. very much. Okay. Just a little. Could it not fit in there? You, no, it won't. Okay. You, but is, once, you, once we do redo things... You can get that in there and then put yeah. all you keep all your food in one spot. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah, so that's just a kind of a look see at what I've got. And I again I think this food will last I wanna say weeks, you know, in a in a terrible situation. So mm. I think we're you know, for a couple of travelers that are nomads that are uh, living out of their vans. I think we've got a lot of stuff put away. Okay. Well, we got the, we got the, look up. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> look Jeez. <over. laughs> we got the family portrait going on she's here. She's not cooperating. Yeah. There, that's better. Yeah, she's happy. <laughs> happy. <laughs> I have a hold of her collar because there's a number of dog walkers, walking dogs around here. Yeah. And I have a feeling she might like to go ahead first and take off. <laughs> We're not going to let her do that. No. So, this is what we have. I showed my overflow, what I have for, like, storage in case anything goes down. And he showed what he has for just, you know, regular day use, kind of. Yeah. So, got a little menagerie going on. So, this is something to think about. You know, how much food do you want to carry? You have to balance is this extra weight that I'm driving with? And I do think about that. Just driving with way too much food and it's extra weight and I'm using more gas for it. So, which is one of the reasons we're gonna be here for a while. Might actually get a storage unit. Small, small storage Oh yeah, very, oh like a little closet, call them a closet, but yeah. yeah. Well, this is what we got for extra food. And uh, without water, we really can't use the food very much. <laughs> but there they go again. You said it's like this. Just make sure you keep that wrist straight. That's oh. critically important. The wrist. If you salute like this. Oh yeah. You know that's no. That's, like <laughs> that is not gonna get it. So what what will happen to you? You wanna? Well, you get called out by the TI. It would. Mm -hmm. Training instructor. Yes, okay. that's right. Is it, or can I go like that? Yeah, you do it very, very well. This way, yeah. or this well, way? Well, elbow a little higher. Okay, not like. <laughs> no. Okay. Don't hide it. This. Even higher. Hi oh. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can do two at once. Ooh. Okay, so now that we've got that down, we just want to say goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. We got another day tomorrow. Oh, and I'm going to be out and about. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you yeah, get, you get to about. ride around with me tomorrow. Because I'm getting some work done on my van. Well, it costs a lot of money, but I'm going to get some work done, yeah. which is needed. Got to take care of your home. Okay. Okay. Bye. Say bye. Oh, have a good Abby down here. Bye, everyone. There's Abby. <laughs> She's a little camera shy all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, she is. Uh, bye. <laughs> Want to say goodbye? Can you get down there? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> bye. bye. Everybody. I'm wearing two black neck gaiters together. Very smart for winter. Covers your neck well, and I'm wearing a low scoop top for winter. But I think it looks smart, very fashionable. And I do have black available. Go to minivanlee.com for black neck gaiters. Order two of them. <laughs>